Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And it's time we're going to look at a game called Mazinger Z. And this was created by a band Presto in uh, 1994. And this video was suggested by YouTube user Namcot Enterprises. And uh, this is based on a uh, manga from the uh, early 70s created by Go Nagai. And it was uh, very, very popular, and it had its own uh, anime series and movies and stuff. Um, <clears throat> but uh, the basic gist of the uh, of the manga is that there's these giant heroic robots created by Professor Kabuto to fight the minions of a guy named Doctor Hell. <laughs> But, um, you get to play as, uh, the three different robots. You could choose between them. <laughs> and, uh, you can choose between Mazinger Z, which is piloted by a human named Koji Kabuto, and I'm guessing Professor Kabuto is his dad or something. Uh, there's also Great Mazinger, and that is piloted by the human Tetsuya Tsurugi. And there is also Grendizer, which is piloted by Duke Freed. You have a uh, charge attack you can use by holding down the fire button for a few seconds and then releasing. And uh, your charge attack will be different depending on which type of power up you picked up. Um, you uh, uh, can also use a, a bomb attack, which was common in uh, shoot 'em ups. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, um,. You also have a punch, which is a very short range attack. And that is used to rack up some bonus points if you uh, take out enemies that are close to you with the punch attack. You can keep doing so and you will get increasing bonus points as you do so. That's just for extra points. It's, it's nothing special. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Again, you have the choice between Mazinger Z, Great Mazinger, or Grendizer. And we'll look at all of them. This game, it, 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 it's alright. I mean, for a shoot 'em up, it's. I mean, there's definitely worse. It's kinda, kinda interesting. If you're a fan of uh, Mazinger Z, it's. Of course, a lot better. I had, uh, had never really, uh, watched it or, uh, read any of the Mazinger Z, uh, franchise. Barely, barely heard of it. <clears throat> but I'll, I'll have to look it up sometime. There are a total of eight stages. But once you beat the eight stages, you have to play them all over again in order to get the uh, the actual ending. You'll have uh, various various power ups that you can pick up to uh, change your weapon, and there is a uh, uh, there is a green one, and that is a spread rapid fire. There is a blue one, and that is a multi-way shot. And there is a red one that is uh, straight. The red one can be... Uh, I think it might be the most powerful shot. This is just a sort of a mini-boss part way through this level here. There will be these... Uh, these two uh, other robots that are allies that will appear part way through the level sometimes and they will drop off some power-ups for you and um, 
they are known as Aphrodite A and Venus A. They are uh, female robots that drop power-ups for you. Uh, another type of power-up is a speed-up. And uh, it looks like a red jet pack. And here is the first boss. And the first boss is really, really quite easy. Just learn uh, how to avoid their uh, fire attacks. And this boss will whip a train at you. <laughs> it's funny. But just move out of the way. There was a, a charge attack. And the charge attack will be different depending on which, uh, which weapon you have. Just keep learning the, uh, the fire pattern and move out of the way when he tries to whip you. And then, uh, charge a shot maybe here and there. That, uh, icon that you see floating around there, uh, that is, uh, giving you bonus points at the end of a level. Or once you beat a stage. Uh, and again, there will be, a uh, whoops, I got hit. There will be three different, uh, colors of, uh, power-up. The green is a spread rapid fire, the blue is a multi-way shot, and the red is multi, uh, straight shots. And that's the end of that stage. But yeah, you get uh, bonus points for how many power-ups you picked up for a certain type. And you can increase the uh, strength. There's me use getting the uh, bonus points for using the uh, short punch attack. Don't use it that often. It's, it's nothing terribly special. There is the uh, green shot. There will sometimes be uh, extra bombs that you can use. And again, yeah, there's a bomb uh, attack. I like the blue shot. The, see how wide it spreads out? <clears throat> but uh, I think that the... I think the strongest weapon is probably the straight red shot. Of course, uh, if you pick up another weapon while you've got one, you'll switch over to the other weapon. The, uh, whoops, I got hit. There will sometimes be, uh, well, that didn't really do anything. <laughs> there will sometimes be, uh, a, a chunk of life bar that you can collect as a, as a power-up type of icon. You can, uh, collect extra bombs, too. Uh, unfortunately, there's no uh, rapid-fire shot. You can uh, you can shoot out a couple of uh, rapid-fire shots as you're charging uh, a shot, and then it'll stop, and uh, your shot will continue to charge. I like that this boss is the uh, Statue of Liberty, and then it it sheds its uh, uh, marble exterior. Yeah, the first couple bosses aren't super hard. I mean, you don't have to be a, uh, a major uh, shoot 'em up veteran to uh, dodge the shots. They're fairly slow. And that's the end of that boss. You only have one life. Uh, so you have to uh, try not to run out of energy. And you have... Uh, three blocks of energy once you uh, once you lose your one life then you have to spend a continue and once you continue you can choose to uh, stay with the robot that you've chosen or you can switch to one of the other two and in this stage this is where the difficulty really starts to ramp up <laughs> you have this uh, pesky robot that likes to shoot really fast lasers at you. And 
and there was another charge shot. Yeah, don't let him get a bead on you. His lasers are very fast. Oh, that didn't hit him at all. He's very quick. And th the stage is... <laughs> crap. The stage is not over once you beat him. I chose not to continue there. I just wanted to put my uh, initials in. And I made uh, first place. That's uh, Mazinger Z, the uh, arcade game. There were a number of home ports, I believe. But, um... Yeah, I'll have to uh, read the uh, manga sometime. Or maybe watch a little bit of the uh, anime series. <clears throat> but uh, we will pick up from where, you know, I decided not to continue, and I will choose to continue, and I will use a different... Uh, different uh, robot. I will choose Great Mazinger, which again is piloted by Tetsuya Tsurugi. And we will look at its firepower. Uh, as for which the best robot is, I, I'm not sure. I think, I don't think I like the second one that much. It's, it's fairly slow, I mean, even uh, even once you get uh, the speed up power-ups. Now that we've destroyed the robot, we have to uh, destroy you know, <coughs> the thing that uh, released the robot. And then once you do that, the, the uh, stage still isn't over. They'll send these guys that uh, home in on you. <coughs> You can destroy them fairly easily, and they'll also shoot these uh, missiles at you. Note that I, I have a bunch of life bars. That'll show if you put on like infinite energy, which I did. I just put on the cheat. Those uh, stupid cannon things on its back, they'll reappear later on in the game, and they, uh, they are a pain. You can't destroy them in time, it seems. And the robot was not destroyed, it is back. I get to destroy it one more time. Some of those uh, charge attacks are pretty cool and can be very damaging. But I, I put on infinite energy, I just wanted to, to zip through the stages as quickly as I could. I will eventually show you uh, the third robot, uh, <clears throat> the third robot, which is Grendizer, and that's the end of stage three. And there are eight stages. And uh, after you beat the eight stages, then you have to play them all over again. Now we got a uh, blizzard on this stage. Yeah, I like the green shot least. Here you have to uh, shoot these uh, ice formations that are closing in on you to make them back off. And the jetpack, the red jetpack symbol gives you a speed up. We'll just, we'll just scoot forward to later parts of each level because if I do a whole playthrough it's just going to take too long. <clears throat> yeah, the shots, I like the, uh, the blue ones, and the, uh, just because they're so widespread, and the red one, which is a very fast, very powerful straight shot. The green one, I'm, I'm not a fan of. <clears throat> so try to power up, power up those, uh, those, uh, blue and red shots as much as you can. Yeah, there's like a giant scythe for a charge attack, uh, depending on which robot you chose and which uh, power-up you have. There's a giant tank here as the boss of this stage. Yeah, 
that's a very powerful uh, bomb attack there, I think that was. And then there's another, uh, I think the third robot, the Grandizer, has a very strong uh, bomb attack too. If you've got the time, if you're not if you're not surrounded by enemies and you see a chain of small enemies coming, you can use the uh, the punch, the short punch attack to uh, rack up some bonus points. But I would generally advise it. Yeah, I'll just show you uh, snippets of each of the levels. Sometimes, uh, one of the battleships will will turn for some reason and you can destroy it. And now we're gonna look at Grandizer, piloted by Duke Freed. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, at this point we have these, uh, these bombs that follow you. <laughs> Yeah, you'll hear that sound a lot <laughs> during gameplay. And all the uh, all the characters make that sound. <laughs> it sounds like he's throwing up. Well, I hope you had a, a nice week. Uh, don't know what your weather's like, but we're... We're just finally starting to get some nice, maybe not nice, nice weather. Still a little overcast, but a lot better than it had been. It was very rainy. Very, very dark clouds. And just in time, because I really need to mow my lawn this weekend. And now this boss is a live volcano. <laughs> and once you destroy it, then it has a, a second form. We'll see that right here. And then you need to destroy that form and then you've beaten that boss. It's got these big uh, laser cannons. And that's the end of that stage. I'd never, never seen this in arcades. I guess it was, I guess it was released in the U.S., but just barely. This might be my first uh, game by Ben Presto that I've reviewed. I don't think uh, any of their games really saw much uh, exposure in U.S. arcades. There will be these uh, little typhoons that you could get drawn into. You can get out of them, but it takes a little bit of effort. <laughs> and then there's a mini boss here that's a octopus type of thing. Yeah, I really, even though the green shots are very, 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 very fast, I, I prefer the uh, much uh, powered up blue and uh, red. Yeah, there's kind of a almost a scythe type of attack as the uh, I think the charge attack with this one. And I think that was a bomb attack. And that one's really strong. And uh, at this point uh, the level kind of changes its look but again the uh, there are two uh, supportive female robots named Aphrodite A, Aphrodite A and Venus A and they drop power-ups for you oops <laughs> If, you, if you're uh, watching the NBA playoffs, if that's your thing, I hope you're enjoying the outcomes so far. My uh, Portland Trail Blazers are up 2 nothing on the uh, Oklahoma City Thunder, so I'm happy. 
go and see if they can win a uh, road game. Scoot forward to me beating this boss. <laughs> and now we got uh, two more stages to clear. Yeah, you get uh, bonus points for uh, the percentage of the enemies that you destroyed. <laughs> yeah, you only get three, uh, three bars of life uh, if you put on the uh, infinite energy cheat. Then all of a sudden you have eight. <laughs> And here we're flying over lava. Only, uh, only I think on the stage where there's the uh, ice formations can you run into uh, something that's, you know, not an enemy, just a landscape and take damage. Everywhere else you can like go along the walls and not get hurt. Then here's the uh, boss of, of this stage. Uh, never, never seen this one. Uh, never watched or uh, read any uh, any uh, media of. Uh, Mazik or Z. And yeah, it's, it's been around since the early 70s. Go Nagai, who created the manga, has done a bunch of other other projects. Um, uh, I think Devil Man? Uh, uh, Violet's Jack, a bunch of other stuff. Maybe a gotcha man. I can't remember for sure. <clears throat> we'll uh, scoot forward through this level. But again, once you beat all eight stages, then you have to beat them all again in order to see the ending, which isn't all that special. This game is is really for for fans of of uh, Mazinger Z. As a as a uh, shoot 'em up, I mean, it's not bad by any means. Graphics are, are definitely nice. Uh, it just it just doesn't feel all that special. Not, in my opinion, not really, not really as as good as like the Arrow Fighters series. And then uh, this will be the final boss, or at least uh, of stage eight. This isn't a, this isn't a gyroscope here, or is it? Or is it a oscilloscope? I'm not sure. It's this little thing that spins, and then uh, uh, it opens up to reveal a robot inside, and we'll see that here. And it sends these uh, these parts at you, and you can destroy those parts. We'll scoot forward to uh, me destroying the final boss here. Yeah, he likes to charge at you with this uh, energy beam on his feet. <laughs> yeah, 
you have a, a few seconds of invincibility after you take a hit. And he's dead. I guess uh, from what I've read, the uh, the Professor Kabuto has uh, built the robots out of uh, some material that he gets from uh, Mount Fuji. <laughs> kind of interesting little backstory. Yeah, we'll we start the levels over. They're they're harder. The enemies shoot faster. They shoot more often. There's tougher enemies or something. They're tougher to bring down, whatever. But we'll scoot forward to me beating all the stages again so I can get the uh, ending. It's really for fans of Mazinger Z. Because I, I don't know what's going on. I don't really... It doesn't really uh, seem all that interesting to me. But that was Mazinger Z uh, by Ben Presto in 1994. The uh, arcade version, and again, the uh, manga version came out in like 1972, created by Go Nagai. And this was in, this became a TV series, uh, anime movies. I'll have to uh, check it out sometime. But that was uh, Mazinger Z by Ben Presto in 1994. Uh, vertically scrolling uh, shoot 'em up. Not one of the not one of the more memorable shoot 'em ups as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> but uh, if you got any more requests, keep them coming. I'll uh, see what I can do about uh, uh, honoring them. Put in my initials, and that's it. Well, that was uh, Mazinger Z by Ben Presto in 1994. Well, this is Crazy Claim Ready saying thanks for watching Mazinger Z by Ben Presto in 1994. Hope you have a great one, and I will see you later in the future with my next video. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.